good morning and welcome back to my channel so i had so much fun in yesterday's video doing things with a single sheet of paper i figured why not continue that on so i'm going to get another sheet of paper and i'm going to see what we can accomplish with a single sheet of paper um and just wish me luck and I'm just kind of flipping through these papers here. These are all from Simple Stories Country Christmas and um, kind of going through there. And that one's really pretty. We've already done that one. Uh, we can do this one. That one's really pretty. But I wanted to do something with a single sheet of paper and see what we can accomplish. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with that. Oh, there's some stickers we can add to it. Woohoo! All right. Um, so I've got a time card, I've got a business card, and I've got a notebook. So I don't know if we're going to do this notebook or not, but it's going to take up a, a lot of the uh, paper here. But I think that it would be really cute, actually. So I'm going to do this part. And I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing. All right, so let's measure this as we learned in yesterday's video. It pays to measure. So it is one, nine, and an eighth. Nope, that's a sixteenth. That's not an eighth. So nine sixteen. All right, by um, nine sixteen by two and a quarter. That's not right. Eight and a quarter. I was like, what? It's one of those uh, that has a zero in the middle, so it goes, anyway. Um, that's why I had two and a quarter. So, what did I say? Uh, nine and one sixteenth by eight and a quarter. Okay, gotta write it down, otherwise I'll forget. And I'll probably still forget, even after I write it down. And you need to go back over there. So, let's grab our uh, trimmer and see what we can see. So I want this side here, because I really want to use this up here. So let's find out what we, ooh. I like that one too. Um, oh, it's like, oh, I get it. So this right here is this over here. And this up here is this over here. Yeah, I'm smart, woo woo. Okay, so nine and a sixteenth is right there okay and that leaves a whole lot of not much so what's the other one eight and a quarter eight and a quarter all right we can do this what can we do with this piece of paper all right see we got a little bit left Ooh. All right, so got that. I'm gonna have to score that right down the middle, which is gonna be four and a sixteen. And I have a scoreboard somewhere. Oh my gosh, I have to show you guys something. So I went to the Dollar Tree like uh, I don't know a minute ago, and I found a stylus. I was very skeptical. I was like, ah, it's not gonna work that well. Uh, I really, really like this thing. Like, it is pretty amazing. All right, so I actually don't have a 16 mark because that's half, that's eight, and that's a quarter. So I don't have a 16 mark, so I'm not going to score this. I'm just going to fold it in half. And if you guys aren't comfortable folding it in half, I would say don't do it and just glue it down and then fold it but I am fairly confident in my skills of lining up a sheet of paper and going crease like a soap. So there's that. But yeah, so anyway, this little stylus that I got from the Dollar Tree, yeah, it's uh, pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. I mean, for a dollar, I mean, you gotta think about these bone folders that we use. And I don't like using the bone folders on the scoreboards because I almost always poke a hole through it, which kind of stinks, but you know, hey, what are you going to do? All right, so 
that's just going to help it fold a little bit. It's really not needed. And oh, look at that. We did not. Oh, we didn't account for the fold. That's what it was. E. Okay. So if we lay it down this way, it will line up. All right. So let's put a score mark right beside it. And let's see, where is that score mark at? Well, this is actually at, oh, okay. We're going to put one right beside it. And then we're going to fold that as well, hopefully, if we manage to fold it right. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to go this way too. We oh, it's like right down this little line right here of the paper. You know, I've never actually used the smaller end of this stylus, um, and but also too, I have not used this paper line before. Uh, I don't know if I'm a fan of the paper line, honestly. It's beautiful paper, but it cracks. There is like, right now there's only one paper line that I've seen that does not crack. And that is uh, Stamperia. It doesn't matter what I do that, it doesn't crack. All right, so, oh, look at that, there you go. Okay, all right, and then I don't know how that ended up working, but that ended up working. All right, so we're going to cover this in glue. And once again, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because I like the fact that it does not warp my paper. So we're going to do one side at a time, hopefully, because I want to make sure that it's all spread out underneath there. Whee! Uh, let me click off of my OBS real quick. I always forget to do that. Oh, it's crazy. All right. So, I'm going to line this up. I'm actually going to line this up with a fold because I know it doesn't quite go all the way to the edge. All right. And that is simple enough. But because this is craft, it's actually really nice to have that little border. So I'm just going to smear this out a little bit. Whee! Got this at Tuesday morning. No idea how much I paid for it, but I like it. Because I use Fabri-Tac a lot. Uh, and I really like how it smears the glue up underneath the whatever it is you're using or whatever it is you're gluing, rather. Whee. All right. And so I'll just do this and then fold it a little bit. There we go. And then All right. Poof. Voila. Oh yeah, and I changed the papers. I figured you guys wanted some spring cleaning, so I got rid of the paint, the painty paints. All right, so we're gonna add something to the side of this and uh, cover that up just a little bit. Uh, you can use stickers, you can use washi tape, you know, what else. I'm going to, oh look, we have stickers over here. Boop. Um, that's pretty. I don't know if I want to do that there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use this. Okay, so we're going to set this aside. And, ooh, we can line this up. That'll be pretty simple. I like the green better. It matches really well. Alright, I like this. This is pretty good. 
Ooh, and we can make a tag out of this. Hey, you want to make a tag out of this? Let's make a tag out of this. All right. We can actually make a couple tags out of this. We can make a pocket. Now, why am I doing that? Um, because I don't know how far down this goes. That's why I'm doing that. All right. This goes down to that line right there. Red mark. Yeah. All right. And now, oh, now we're going to put glue everywhere else. We. All right. So, go away strings. All right. So this is fairly simple. You just have to keep in mind that, you know, your decorations and your embellishments for your journals or planners or albums or however it is that you like to keep your memories, um, they don't have to be complicating. Not at all. Um, it was funny. Uh, someone was just like, you know, let's do a use what you have challenge. And I'm like, uh, you know, I do that every day. Um, <laughs> that's kind of what I, I teach you guys is, you know, sure you go out and buy supplies or whatever, but why well, I forgot one, but it's really good to just use what you have because how many times do we have something that we're just like hoarding? because it's pretty or, you know, whatever. <coughs> we can also make this into a notebook. Bloop. Or, oh, sorry, my brain started working. Okay, so I'm gonna do this here and I'm gonna do this, oh my gosh. Yeah, this paper does not like being folded. So, make sure you get a nice, good quality paper. That is important. All right, and then we're going to put this right there. Because I want the Christmas to show. And, oh wait, I'm going to put that right there. Okay. Just like that. And we're going to put some... Some song. Uh, we have got, oh, perfect. Check it out. So I've got ow, some of these little papers here that I used in um, my journal. Or, well, it's my book, really. All right. So let's go with um, there. That's good. All right. So one, let's put a couple of these in here. All right, one, two, three, four. Four, uh, we have two sheets over here. And we can do that one, and then that one, and then that one, just like that. Oh wait, there's another one. Come here, you. All right. And that one. All right. That way it's alternating. So, get them all to the top. And cut them all right there. Bloop. Voila. All right. And save these. Because you never know if you want to do it again. So, uh, fold them in half and staple them into your book. All right, so I'm going to staple them. Um, ooh, we could do it this way. I think I want to do it this way. Just like that. Um, I think though, I want to. Oh, how perfect did that work out? Yeah, I'm going to put that there. Ooh, I could do that instead. I like that one. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, although I do like the music. Oh, gosh, the dilemma. Okay. Covering the music. I know, I know, I know. It's terrible. But it's okay. Because we have another sheet somewhere. Wee. Alright, so there's that. Alright, and then... 
spread out the glue. And you can use a credit card, a note card, a business card, really whatever you want to do that. All right, so there, there's this thing. And this thing is going to get stapled into this thing. I hope. Um, <laughs> I have not done something quite this thick in a while. But hopefully it will work. We're just going to go right down the middle. And... Please work. Please work. Don't stop working just because I'm on camera. <sighs> oh, yay. Oh, it worked. What? Oh my gosh. It worked. Okay. <laughs> Normally I turn the camera on and things stop working. So, oh, that's pretty. We can put that right there. Let's actually make this. Um, mm. Uh, super cool and I'm rounding the corners yes of this micro paper here and you'll see why here in a second all right, all right. Um, all right there we go and Take this and put it right there. Ooh, might actually be able to do that. No, I don't like that. Okay, we can go the other direction. Whee! See, you can use all of your paper. What? All right, now we're covering up that staple that we just stuck in the middle of the, the front of the matchbook thingy-ma-bob. You could also cover up the back. All right, so I don't think we have anything that size yet. Now, we have a journal, a matchbook with journaling space. Now, let's figure out what to do with this card. Uh, it's pretty. Yay. It's mine. <laughs> Just in case you didn't already know that. Um, let's go with this on one side. That's not what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for. All right. And let's see here. All right. Um, we could just make a simple embellishment to go with everything else. Like, that would be cool. All right. I don't know if that'll fit, but let's glue it down before we... Hey. All right. Okay. Stay. Boop. All right. And voila. And of course, I put too much glue on it. Yeah. All better. <laughs> All right. Now let's put. Uh, Ooh, pretty. Let's do that on this side. I think that'll work. Yep, yep. All right, I'm just going to glue it straight down like this. Um, wow, that was really weird. I just got like a, a notification or something on my computer that I'm recording. <laughs> uh, well, yep, I've been recording for a minute. Uh, 18 minutes and 50 seconds to be exact. All right, there's no direction with this thing so let's just kind of straighten up the lines here all right and then I cut this and this is a nice thick embellishment because we've got that business card in between so you can use these on something like the cover of a journal or a notebook or an album it's got some dimension to it. So we're going to use our trimmer, cut the corners. You can do a thicker corner or wider corners if you want. I'm just going to stick with the quarter inch here. And we still have more paper left. What? Okay. So um, let's figure out what we want to put here. And we do have these cute little stickers. Um, 
We can just do, oh, hello, December. Oh my gosh, aren't you cute? I like that. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, so I am going to take this sticker, put it on this piece of paper here, like so. Then, bloop. I'm going to do the dreaded fussy cutting. What? I know. It's crazy. Oh. oh, so I was just whispering, so it made me think about something. I'm going to have to share with you guys in the next video. But um, I was thinking about doing ASMR videos on uh, while well, creating a Patreon account and then doing ASMR videos on the Patreon. What do you guys think about that? Is that something that would interest you? Um, and if it is, let me know. And if it's not, well, let me know that too. Um, ah! But I'd have to start a Patreon account and I haven't done that yet. And yeah, uh, because I have a lot going on on my plate every day. It is crazy. It was kind of funny because someone said something to me about my schedule and I was like, oh my gosh, no, I can't do anything else because I have this and this and this and this and this and they're just like, oh yeah, it's a busy time in the year. I was like, that's every day. That's not because it's holiday season. That's because it's every day of my life like that. Um, okay, so let's put you right there. I like that. And then we could put some berries or something behind it. Bloop. I think that would be super cute. All right. And let's put a berry behind you. Oh, that is so cute. I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we did a matchbook journal um writing space thing and we did an altered book yet again because well altered books are fun and we again used a single sheet of paper with some left over what anyway so you guys have been awesome and i hope you guys are having fun with this whole let's see what we can do with a single sheet of paper uh and yeah so um, I guess I'll see you guys all in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Bye guys.